In web development, it all starts here. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the building blocks of every website. First, HTML creates the structure, a simple button, ready to go. Next, CSS steps in to style it, adding visual appeal. Finally, JavaScript brings it to life, making it dynamic and interactive. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's not a programming language, but a markup language that structures web pages, similar to this wireframe. Here's the basic structure of an HTML element, the opening tag, the closing tag, and the content in between. The head tag contains important information about the HTML document, like the title and linking CSS file. The title tag defines the title of the web page, which appears in the browser tab. The link tag connects your CSS to HTML. The relic style sheet indicates it's a CSS file, while href specifies its location. Similarly, the script tag is used to embed or reference JavaScript, with SARC pointing to JavaScript file. The body tag holds all the visible content on a web page, including text, images, and interactive elements. HTML has six heading tags, from H1 to H6. They structure your content, with H1 as the main title and H6 for smaller subheadings. The P tag defines a paragraph, helping to organize text content on your web page. The A tag creates hyperlinks, allowing users to navigate between web pages or external sites. The image tag is used to embed images in your web page, enhancing great visual appeal. The button tag creates clickable buttons, allowing users to perform actions on your web page. The input tag creates interactive fields where users can enter text and provide data. The div tag is a block level element used to group content and apply styles, enhancing layout and organization. Here's a summary of all the HTML tags we discussed, along with how they look on the web page. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more web development tutorials.